I think the biggest thing that, that No Guff has really helped me in my life now is that it reminds me that I just be, need to be who I am. It's not talking behind each other's backs, it's supporting your friends, um, it's just kind of doing the right thing in the right moment. No guff or, you know, something to that effect where you're out deliberately looking for good things. You know, it brings us together and, you know, it just makes the world a better place. There was far too much conflict between students in, in ways that went unresolved. I remember sitting with some students in my office. At the time, talking trash was a popular uh, expression. One of the students said, well, gee, um, my grandfather used to say, don't give me any guff. And I said, gee, my father used to say that to me all the time. And it was back talk. In other words, say something, and if I made a sarcastic remark, that was guff. My father, uh, Doug Ribasell, and had some of his students uh, in the graphic arts department make uh, you know, 100 t-shirts and sort of just hand them out. And it, there was, you know, it said guff and a little, you know, no circle on the front. And on the back it said, don't go behind the back. So, you know, implying, don't talk about people behind their back. Don't, you know, say anything negative. The next year we started the student awards where kids voted for their peers for the kids that didn't talk negatively about anyone else. I gotta say in or 19 years that they did that, they always seem to pick the right kids. A lot of times these aren't necessarily the kids that are the most well known or popular, but by and large they all have that quality of being uh, careful about speaking negatively. When I got the awards, I, I just felt so loved. I just felt like no matter what was going on in my world, no matter how many doubts I had about what I was doing, that all my other peers and my classmates saw me for who I was. And it's like, what else can you really ask for? You know, especially as a 14, 15 year old in the world trying to, you know, find your place. VIPS has been involved with NoGuff the last 10 years. It's a great concept, it uh, works for everybody, and why not bring it out into the community as well? So that's how VIPS really got involved and has stayed involved. And then a few years ago, we decided it would be fun to recognize someone in the community who really exemplifies the NoGuff spirit. So we created a NoGuff Community Spirit Award. These are not the people who are promoting themselves. They're just sort of good, friendly people that are always doing something for others without anyone knowing about it. That's what No Guff does, is it focuses us on looking for the positive. Because the negative is always obvious. The positive is what you've got to look for and accentuate and reinforce. There was also an opportunity to work with um, Brian Switzer and Ann Goulart over at Morris Pond School, and they produced these awesome videos. And one of the really nice things is when social media got to be a thing, um, we were able to share those videos with everybody. So it went even beyond family. No guff. No guff. You know what that? And any other town in the state might not mean anything, but here in Falmouth, we own No Guff. No Guff has lasted more than 20 years in Falmouth because at base, it's what we should do every day. You know, as Thumper's mother said in the movie Bambi, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all.
more than just a school thing, it's a community thing. People just don't get the opportunity. They, they need an opportunity once in a while to say, wait a second, it's, it's good to be good.